The Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, has unveiled the AFM3 Fast Power 240 megawatt turbine in River State. The project is a subsidiary of the Transcup Group located in Oibo on the outskirts of Patakot in the state. Oshibajo, upon arrival, was received by the chairman of Transcup Group, Tony Ulumelu, and other dignitaries. In his address, Oshibajo said in 2020, electricity subsidies reached 584 billion naira, but service-based tariffs have led to a doubling of collection in the Nigeria electricity supply industry from 40 billion naira in 2020 to 80 billion naira in the first quarter of 2023. I'm happy to say that since 2020, the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission has ex executed all its biannual review processes without fail. Now, this is a major difference from the past. In 2019, subsidies reached a peak of 584 billion naira in an environment that became so burdensome for the Nigerian government's fiscal position. The introduction of the service-based tariff, the payment discipline initiative for the sector, which was jointly organized by NERC and the CBN, and the introduction of the national mass metering program have led to a doubling of market collections in the Nigerian electricity supply industry from 40 billion naira a month in 2020 to a record 80 billion per month in the first quarter of 2023. In 2021 and 2022, five unperforming discos were brought into a restructuring program that has led to a 10 billion naira per month reduction in shortfalls. If this trajectory continues, then it means that a general electricity supply industry will attain self-sufficiency at the end of 2023. In other words, it will be able to resource itself, pay for itself. The challenge before us is for the industry to leverage the improved commercial environment that has been created to sustainably supply electricity and improve service to all our citizens. Therefore, I'm proud today that we have been able to bring together so many key stakeholders. Why am I proud and happy? I'd like us to tell a success story, a success story out of Nigeria, a story that can be repeated over and over again if government, communities, and the private sector work together as we have worked together here at AFA. The Transcode Group Partnership at Okoloma Farm began in November 2020 when we signed the Afam Power Share, Sale and Purchase Agreement. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.